High Point Raceway lends itself to great ATV racing, and it was no surprise that it happened again at the last round of the ATV National Motocross Championship. And while the big jumps took out some contenders, it didn't stop others from battling hard. With Joel Hetrick out front, Chad Weenan trying to come through, and a freight train between them. When all the bumping and banging was over, Hetrick had a huge lead, showing his native Pennsylvanians just how fast he has become. In motor number two, Hetrick had to make some moves to get to the lead, with Weenan, Bryce Ford, Nick Janusa, Jeffrey Rastrelli, and others battling behind him. Hetrick pulled away again, while Rastrelli was quick to make moves and battle for the podium. Janusa was doing the same. When the checkered flag came out, it was Hetrick over Weenan and Rastrelli on the box. Into the heartland for the ATV National Motocross Championship, Ironman Raceway, about an hour west of Indianapolis. Certainly a place that is familiar with racing, and this track, very much ATV country, kind of like that last race at High Point. Great heritage here on the ATV side, because this place actually started and was named after an ATV racer on the off-road side. See those trees over there? Been hosting GNCC cross-country races for decades at this facility named after Indiana's own Bob Ironman Sloan. As for the pro motocross side of the deal, Michael Allred, Nick Janusa, Vincent Merman, Logan Stanfield, Dane Molander, love the look of his Suzuki there, Kevin Saar, Max Linquist, Bryce and Cody Ford, so many contenders here. Don't forget Aaron Salinas in the number seven and the very versatile Wesley Wolf, but they're all chasing this man. Points leader, Joel Hetrick. Uh, track's looking really good. Looks like they did a, a rain prep. You know, it looks kind of like high point to me. A couple bigger hits. Uh, the jumps look pretty cool. There's a couple sections that look really fun for us. So I'm really excited coming off high point. This track's really similar to that, and I feel like I ride really well at them. So looking forward to it, and uh, hope to see you on the box. See all the blue on the machine and the clothing of Joel Hetrick. Well, we've got more of it here. The Blue Crew also backing Chad Weenan, looking for a big weekend. Back in the Midwest from where I'm from, uh, made my way home after High Point. Uh, glad to be home, uh, family, everybody, it's, uh, it's been good. We're gonna try to put on a good race for, for our fans here this weekend and uh, myself and just trying to keep Quan uh, back in the direction where I wanna be. Yeah, just having fun here at Ironman. We're gonna see what we got today. And Chad making his way back from his winter home just outside of Daytona in Florida to get back home to the Midwest. And these guys feel at home on this racetrack. Joel Hetrick and the rest throwing down some hot qualifying times here at the very popular Ironman Raceway. Watch Nick Janusa here. Oh, yeah. A little style and flair on it. Same thing with the gear. Brandon Hogue on the 26th. Waiting to see Hogue get the luck back with him. He was so great last season. Jeffrey Rastrelli has probably been the most consistent rider this year. Been up there all the time, waiting on the number two of Max Linquist, Cody Ford. Also, these guys can get in there and battle. Ford got a win earlier in the year. 741 of Wolf. Look at the riders like this track. Lots of airtime, but good safe jumps. And the dirt here is phenomenal as well. 68 is Adam Ulrich. Watch Dane Molander here. Oh yeah, the big stretch over the Godzilla uphill. Hetrick ends up with a fast time over Janusa, who had both style and speed, and Hogue is third fastest. ATV Motocross on MAV-TV is brought to you by RP Race Performance. By Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. And by CSP Tires. And downtown Crawfordville, Indiana loves their racing. Again, it started with the Grand National Cross Country Woods Race here, and then this beautiful motocross track that's been open for about a decade now. And it lends itself actually the flat fields and great parking to great amateur racing and conditions to hang out all weekend. Then they get on the racetrack and suddenly you see at the top of the screen, plenty of elevation change and great battles. We're gonna focus on the pro class now. 
Lots of young riders nipping at the nerf bars of Jeffrey Rastrelli, but High Point, another good one. Um, had really good starts, had a really good uh, an overall good day, and we went to uh, back to my home track and got back to work, and yeah, I think it's going to pay off here today. And um, yeah, just looking forward to, to coming here and, and doing well again, uh, stay alive in that point chase. Yeah, Jeffrey Rastrelli and Bryce Ford were right there after a wild round two at Gainesville, which is a bad one for both Hedrick and Weenan. So it could be a four rider championship fight, but Hedrick trying to shut that all down to keep his moto win streak alive. Here we go from Indiana. Hedrick and Ho going to battle for it. We're on board with Rastrelli. Hedrick had the whole shot, went too fast into turn one, went wide, and it is Brandon Hogue to the lead. And Hedrick is already right on the rear grab bar and looking to make a pass as we head uphill to Godzilla. And Rostrelli up to third, giving us a great view of the battle for the lead. With the Rocky Mountain ATV MC on board. Hedrick has got to be careful. Zach Harris has gone down on the 22. You don't want to get too close over these jumps. Ford somehow just sliced underneath Rostrelli. And it's so critical, Ford and Rastrelli have been battling in pretty much every moto this year. So those passes to make the quick ones, when the door is open, you've got to go for it. Now Rastrelli trying to come back as they go under the covered bridge. And Rastrelli is coming back on Ford. Hetrick still trying to solve Hogue. Going to try an inside line there and almost went over when he hooked that rut on the outside. Hogue looking over, he knows this is just Hedrick trying to get inside on this long straightaway, which will bend to the right side. Oh, and Hogue had the apex, almost got it right. A little hesitation, lost of traction in the middle of the corner. Will it be enough for Hedrick to get by? And Hedrick uses the outside. It was a little bit smoother. If it was the long way around, it didn't matter. He's into the lead on the number one, the Phoenix Racing Yamaha. Now we're on board with Nick Janusa, a few positions further back. That's Chad Weenan, an uncharacteristic bad start for him. So these two are outside of those podium spots, trying to move up. How about Hogue keeping Hedrick honest? With the way Hedrick was all over him on lap one, you'd think he would have pulled away immediately. But Hogue has that kind of talent and speed. We saw it all year last year. This year, it seems like something goes wrong every time. Marshall Smith had something go wrong there. He looks to be out of this one. Here's the great news for Hogue. If he could just keep Hedrick in sight, it could probably help him stay away from that raging battle with Ford, Rastrelli, and everyone else. And that could put him on the podium. And I think that's what he needs. Just start to build that base again with a couple of solid podium runs. To say you've got to go out there and beat that, look at Hedrick pitching it in. It's going to be difficult. Rastrelli still trying to figure out a way to get into this top three. So Joel Hedrick doing what he does, beginning to pull away now after getting the early lead at Ironman Raceway. He has really opened it up, but the battle behind him is still raging. Let's see if Brandon Ho can hold on. Joel Hetrick continues to rule the roost here at ATV National Motocross. Brandon Hogue, Bryce Ford, Jeffrey Rastrelli, Chad Weenan, Nick Janusa coming through next. And what a battle we have on our hands. Jason Wygant here to give you the call. And I've got a feeling things are just about to heat up between Hogue, Ford, Rastrelli, Weenan, Janusa. Who's going to give? Oh, and it's right there. Weenan gets to the inside. Rastrelli trying to get him back. Rastrelli tries again to get him back. They bump wheels. That's two or three times. Contact has been made between Weenan and Rastrelli, but the big man is up to fourth place. Now he goes wide. Rastrelli tries to get him back again. Not going to happen. There's Hetrick. Got a big lead built up. The question is, can Brandon Hogue Hold on. And these guys are coming after him. 
Bryce Ford from third has bridged the gap. Here's Hetrick. Long gone, but look at this battle. And now Weenan has joined the party. Up the inside goes Ford. He takes over second from Hogue. Hogue will have his hands full. Now, he was able to stay with Hetrick briefly early in the moto. Can he stay with Ford and stay away from Weenan? He's now two or three bike lengths behind. Under the cover bridge we go. Ristrelli giving us a good view of that battle for third, but he doesn't want to see it. He wants to be ahead of it. And he'll keep digging. Just like this man, Joel Hetrick, just the fastest thing in ATV motocross racing. No doubt about it. Look at the lead that he has built up again. There's Weenan trying to make the move on Hogue side by side. And you get Weenan into a set of rollers or whoops, and he's going to get you. And he just did. Hogue trying to come back in the corners. Can't quite get it done. I think what might be the final thing to watch, can Weenan get to Ford or can Ford split Weenan and Hedrick? And that has been a tall order for anyone to do over the last, geez, we're probably talking 10 years that it has been those two at the front of the pack consistently in most of the motos. But Ford trying to show, as he's done a few times this year, that he's right in it and he can take the likes of Weenan and hold on for a second. see that from Joel Hetrick. That was just unbelievable. Just rolling right now. Rastrelli, he gets Hogue. Got the onboard view of that one. Ah, oh, so Brandon Hogue, a great start, and he is just being pushed and shoved around. Janusa putting up a fight. He's going to get around Hogue. Janusa has upped the game this year, and he's not finished with Rastrelli. To the inside, bumps wheels. Knocks Rastrelli out of the line. Hogue trying to respond. So the New Jersey native got an awesome new training facility there in the Garden State, and that work is paying off. It's uh, Janusa a little bit closer to the front this year than he was a year ago. Last lap now, white flag out for Hetrick. Janusa with the onboard, no one left to get. Weenan and Ford are too far out front, but I said this would be the intriguing thing. Could Weenan get to Ford? He only has one more lap to get it done as Rastrelli and then Hogue come through, fifth and sixth. Up to the top of the Godzilla jump one last time in this moto, where Joel Hedrick will be back with a second moto. Oh, Weenan not giving up on Ford for second. And Ford, the feet come off the pegs in the middle of that jump. I don't think that was for style. He is doing everything he can right over your head if you've got to, to hold back the number 44. It's gonna be a fantastic battle to the line. It looks like Weenan has made the pass. Clutch riding down the stretch. And Weenan digs out second. Hetrick with the moto win. And after a quick reset, the boy's gonna be going back out of here in moto number two. Nick Janusa, me mugging the camera, everyone getting focused in on this all-important second race, and here we go. Ford, another good start. I think it's Rostrelli with him, and Rostrelli's gonna get the whole shot. He got the Rocky Mountain ATV MC camera, and again, Ford goes right around him early in the race, very similar to lap one, but Aaron, or Moto one, Aaron Salinas down. And Rastrelli trying to come back. Where did Hedrick come from? From third to first. Unbelievable. Secures the lead at the top of the hill. Now Ford looking to go back after him. And Ford did not get all the way down to the bottom of that hill. They are all struggling with traction. You can see how dry the dirt is now. You slip just a bit coming out of these corners and come up short on one of these jumps. You're in for a heck of a ride. And on lap one, they're all getting a feel for it. But great battling going on right now. Rastrelli and Ford looking to keep Hetrick in sight. 
Oh, but with that kind of corner entrance speed, good luck. Weenan now around fifth, so we're gonna have the usual suspects here battling for the position behind the leader. Who's getting away on the Phoenix Racing Yamaha. Ford Rastrelli. That Hogue and Weenan still fighting for it. Hogue, he's back with a vengeance in this moto. Cannot be happy about Moto 1 where he went from leading to outside of the top five. And he's making a run. He's ahead of Weenan. Here's Janusa looking to make a move. Man, Janusa has been good today. And when you look at these dry, slick conditions, Janusa, his track, I mentioned a new facility that he has in New Jersey. is very much sand-based. But he's been good on every type of track this year, even though this is not exactly the type of dirt that he practices on. So it's still Ford, Rastrelli, Hogue, Weenan, Janusa. And nobody touching Joel Hetrick. See, a little bit of footwork there to get the downshift before the corner. It's a carbon copy of Moto 1 to see this freight train battle. But you know, Verstrelli wants to be a little bit better, just like Hogue. Any of the riders at this level, if they get a start, they will not be happy if they don't finish on the podium. Janusa with the Rocky Mountain ATVMC on board with the group right in front of him. Look at this battle! Weenan getting aggressive with Hogue. Hogue trying to get around. Rastrelli, he's got the yellow-green gear there. Yeah, Hogue much better in this moto. Oh, but Weenan just ate him up in those rollers, just blew by. Hetrick looking to tuck away another 1-1. He's won all but one moto so far this year. As for the battle for second, it continues to rage. Stay with us. Mav TV's coverage of ATV Motocross is brought to you by RP Race Performance, by Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and by CST Tires. Battles continue here at Ironman Raceway, ATV National Motocross. Oh, and Hogue, did he save it or not? That's what you would call oversteer. The back end was coming around and then it hooked. Ford Rastrelli weaning. Should be Janusa, and I think I just saw Hogue there. He might have been able to save that one. Joel Hetrick powering away from the field. And this battle is still good. Weenan trying to set up Rastrelli who went over that berm and just handed the spot over. Janusa and Hoag still lurking there. So we're gonna have another, perhaps, Weenan and Ford battle for second as Rastrelli with the Rocky Mountain on board. On the outside of the podium looking in. Here's Hetrick. He's going for that SSI decals whole shot award. Might have went wide in one of the motos, but didn't take long to get the lead and he has not been headed. Here's Janusa and Hogue in a great duel. Hogue going forward in this moto. After the SSI decals whole shot in moto one. Can he get to Rastrelli? There's Rastrelli with that high-vis yellow, green gear, then Hogue right behind him. You can probably hear Hogue in that shot. And Weenan working on Ford again. Huh. Watch Hetrick attack that section all day long. It is poetry in motion. Here's a nice move on the outside and a good drive. Carry that much speed, and then he carries it into those rollers. And just like that, Chad Weenan has made the move, and Hogue has made the move as well. Well, boy, if Hogue could have ridden like this with the whole shot in Moto 1, who knows what he could have done. Now he's going for the podium, and they come from behind effort. 
So it's Hetrick, Weenan, and now Hogue is caught forward for third. As Hetrick and Weenan get away, battles for podiums between Ford and Hogue. We expected them all year. Ford has delivered. It has been a rough one on Brandon, but here he comes. Brandon Hogue putting the pressure on Bryce Ford. And then there's this battle. Max Lindquist have not seen much of him so far today. Oh, he almost lands on the back of Rastrelli. So not the day Rastrelli wanted. He lost a couple of spots and lost the toe. Meanwhile, checkered flag is out. Another win for Hetrick. It's going to go down to the checkers. Weenan has the number two spot. Who will claim third? It's... Hogue is going to get it. What an effort to dig it out. Ford, though, will still end up third overall. Didn't have the best day, but we made it work, and, and we got ourselves on the box. We, we rode really well today, and I'm just going to put in work these next couple weeks and come there prepared and hopefully get back up on the box. See you guys there. Just uh, great racing today, tight racing with all the guys. Uh, that top six was pretty tight. Joel was ran away, but uh, honestly, uh, happy with my performance today, feeling good. Uh, on to Walnut next. We'll see you there. Uh, putting the power to the ground, I had a lot of good traction and just uh, felt really, really good out there. So happy with my performance and uh, you know getting some more points on seconds. Awesome. And we're uh, we're all positive, happy, healthy, and we're going to go on to the next one and try to do it again. And the next race will be Weenan's home track in Illinois. CST Tires race recap from today in Indiana. Brandon Hogue to the early lead in Moto 1 with the SSI decals. Whole shot award. Hedrick gets by. Weenan not a good start. He has to go after Ford, Hogue, Rastrelli, and the rest. Janusa punting Rastrelli off the course. And on the last lap, Weenan would get second with Hedrick taking the win for third. Moto 2 for the good start. Weenan starts to make moves. Hedrick had already taken the lead, though, and got away. Here's Rastrelli off the track, and a late charge from Hogue to get into the number three position at the line. 1-1 one, one for Hedrick again. He's won all but one moto in 2023. Ford still second in points. Rastrelli third. Weenan on the comeback trail. For everyone at Racer TV, I'm Jason Wygant. Thanks for watching.